He's the rising star of Indian tennis, but he isn't your conventional pro. At 23, Somdev Devilman left it late to start a career in the professional game, choosing to study for a degree in sociology before joining the ATP World Tour. Coming from India, I feel like, uh, uh, for me at least, I, I always put a lot of emphasis on education and getting decent grades. And uh, you know, there was a good opportunity for me in, in in college, you know, to play college tennis, get a degree. So I ended up spending four years at Virginia, which I'm very thankful for. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm I am who I am today because of my a lot of the time I spent over there. So I'm really happy. Devilman is now making up for lost time. But in only his second year as a pro, he's now facing his greatest challenge, cracking the top 100. I'd like to get in the top 50 by the end of 2010, but you know, before I get in the top 50, I have to get in the top 100, and you know, it's step by step. And um, you know, also once you get to wherever you, you know, you put your target at, you don't you don't want to stop. It's not like you get to the top 50 and you're like, all right, let's kick back and you know, all right, my work's done. And so it's like I said, for me, it's it's always been a continuous process of improvement. And uh, you know, I feel like as long as I keep putting the work in and keep improving, you know, everything else kind of takes care of itself. Devonman's coach Scott McCain is a veteran of the tour and knows just how crucial it is to break into double figures in the South African Airways ATP rankings. The first ranking goal is to, to get to 100 or inside because then you're into the Grand Slam tournaments on your own ranking. You don't have to qualify, and you'll play a pretty strong number of tour-level events. And, and some qualifyings and a few challengers. So that first goal is 100. Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati currently lead the Indian charge on tour. But growing up watching some of India's most famous names meant Somdev was never short of inspiration. We've obviously had you know, a pretty good tradition you know, going back to the 70s and the 80s with the Krishnans, the Amritrajas, and then you know, Leander and Mahesh came, up, came around, started winning double slams, and, uh, and yeah, so I feel like it's, it's only getting better. You know, those guys are still around, you know, 35, 36, 37, and it doesn't phase them. They're always, they're always up there in the top 10, and uh, you know, yeah, they definitely have the sport. They've definitely you know, given me a lot of inspiration to go out there. Devaman had the chance to follow in his idol's footsteps when he played his first ATP World Tour final in Chennai last year. It was a moment to savor. I actually grew up in Chennai, and uh, I'd, I'd been watching the tournament since I was since since the tournament came there. And I remember watching every single day uh, since I was a uh, since I was a kid, and you know, telling my dad that you know I want to be out there playing. And, and this time when I was actually on center court playing for the first time, it was something special. And then to come out with a couple of good wins and. Uh, you know, have the whole crowd uh, go behind you and you know, support you is uh, something very special for me and you know, hopefully it can, uh, can happen some more in the future as well. Now 25, he's realistic about his progress so far, but he's determined to enjoy his moment in the spotlight. The motivation to keep playing is, for me at least, you know, to be completely honest, it's the love of the game and you know, I really enjoy it. You know, I'm, I, I come my blessings every day that I've been given the opportunity to go out, play the sport, you know, kind of represent my country in, in, in a big way. And, uh, you know, I have a pretty good life right now, so I'm, I'm really happy. I'm trying to make it better and uh, trying to enjoy the whole process. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, 2009 Roland Garros finalist Robin Soderling on what it's like to be the only man to have beaten Rafa in Paris. And we're on court with Andy Murray, who gives us some inside knowledge on how to prepare to do battle on the Red Star. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.